delicious Samoa ice cream cake. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for Yo Yo Max 12. Hello, everyone. Starting off with the base of this ice cream cake, that's one and one quarter cups of cookie crumbs. I use shortbread cookies, but you can use any kind of plain vanilla cookie. Add to that three tablespoons of butter that's been melted and a tablespoon of white granulated sugar. Now stir those things together until they are combined and you're going to take this and you're going to put it in the bottom of a nine inch springform pan. And I just lightly grease just the bottom part of the pan. Now make sure you use at least a nine inch springform pan because this makes a lot and your pan will be very full. So spread out the crumbs and then just pat them gently so that they're nice and firm in the bottom and you're going to bake this at 350 degrees for about seven or eight minutes until the edges are kind of like a light golden brown and then you're going to allow it to cool completely. Now for the lovely crumble that goes in the middle and on top of your cake. That's three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a cup of oats I use quick cooking. The original recipe asks for old-fashioned. One quarter cup of packed brown sugar, one cup of sweetened shredded coconut, one half cup of butter that's been melted, and one half cup of pecans that are chopped. And then give that a good stir until combined and it'll be kind of like a wet crumbly mixture when you're done. Then you're going to take this and spread it in the bottom of a 9 by 13 inch pan. I lightly greased mine just in case. And then just gently pat it down so that it's fairly firm in the bottom there. Then you're gonna bake this at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes until the entire thing is kind of like a very light golden brown. Then as soon as it's out of the oven while it's still hot, take a spoon and you're gonna break it up and crumble it up. And after you've done this, you're going to allow it to cool completely. Then once it's completely cool, add in a one half cup of miniature chocolate chips and stir them in. And obviously if the mixture is not cool, the chocolate chips will melt and you'll end up with a mess. So just make sure it's cold before you add the chips. Now in a large mixing bowl, you will place one eight ounce package of cream cheese that's at room temperature. And then you're going to blend this for about three minutes until the cream cheese is nice and smooth. And then add in one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. And once that can is added, beat that again for an additional three or four minutes until you can't see any more chunks or small pieces of cream cheese. Now we will add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and stir that in. And then one 12 ounce or one liter container of Cool Whip, which is a dessert topping. Fold that in gently but thoroughly. And then take half of that mixture and put it on top of your baked and cooled crust. And then spread it around so it's nice and even. And then take half of the crumble mixture and put it on top of that layer. Then you're gonna take about a half a cup of caramel sauce and pour it over top of the crumbs. Now I'm using just a sundae syrup style. You could use dolce de leche and you could even use a homemade caramel recipe if you have one. Then you're going to put the remaining filling, you're going to put that right on top. Now your pan will be very full and that's why I said at the beginning that you should use a nine inch springform pan and make sure it's at least that size. And then finally on the top, we're going to place the other half of that crumble mixture. Then all you have to do is cover it up with some aluminum foil or some plastic wrap and put it in the freezer and allow it to chill for about four or five hours, or in my case, I just put it in overnight. And if you'd like, you can drizzle on some additional caramel just to before serving it. And I'm just gonna show you what kind of what the texture is here. And it is exactly like regular ice cream. Um, you just have to slice through it and the crumble stays nice and crisp in the center too. So there it is, absolutely scrumptious. This cake came out beautifully out of the springform pan. As you can see, it had really nice clean edges. I was really happy with it. It also sliced up very easily and I didn't even have to leave it out to soften before slicing. You could slice it right away with a sharp knife. 
Now, I don't know if this tastes like a Samoa cookie because I've never had one. To me, it tastes like a cross between like an oatmeal cookie and those little pralines, you know, those caramelized pecans. Absolutely delicious. Really, really good. The ice cream is great and nice and soft and they have that great crunch of the filling and the topping. Really, really good. If you want to impress guests or if you want to bring something spectacular to a potluck supper, I would make this and it's perfect for a hot summer day. Now, if you don't want to make the whole cake and you just want the ice cream, all you'd have to do is take that filling and put it in a container and freeze it and you have some great, delicious and easy no churn ice cream. Hope you give this one a try. I have a bunch of great frozen treats on my playlist. If you want to see this, go ahead and click right on your screen or look for the link in the description box below and there'll also be a little eye on your screen. And I would appreciate your support if you could give this video a like and share it with your friends. Bye-bye.